Amateur enthusiasts of the Inland Waterways Association of Ireland replace. Peter and Tom, you're most welcome. How are you? Oh, great. Thanks, Rob. You're now, isn't it great to be back in the swing of things, moving out again, where you're not interrupted by holidays and people saying, please, oh, I can't please, go. Miss, please, oh, miss. You want to stop out of that? We didn't stop. You <laughs> kept going. We've been surveying up on the River Ban. Wow. For We've been up there five days since the last well, time. Well, that's why we didn't see you. You're yeah. way up in that strange place yes. up north of yes. Loch Ney, you know. <laughs> oh, no, the south thing. of Loch Ney. So, the, the River Ban. Oh, yeah, you're, you're not the upper band. Yeah, the upper band. Down, yeah. Down. But isn't it the wonderful thing that north of the ban is the lower ban? Yes. And the, the south of the ban is the southern, southern yeah. ban. Yeah, I think so. it's an Australian yeah, organised like the name. Yeah. Something yeah. like yeah. that. So what have you been doing, uh, uh, Peter? Well, we've, we've been continuing the surveying. The last time I was in with you, we talked about surveying on the ship canal. Yes, and here. that's been done. We've done, well, we have a, like, it's a, a first set of charts done for it. A yeah. few corrections need to be made. And then we've now been doing the same, gathering up the data for the ban. We haven't got the charts done yet because mm. we need information on what the water level is, the state of flooding. Yes. In other words, what the, norm, the minimum water levels would be. But uh, that's, but that's it's very, what it's, we've been it, at recently. If I can stop the pair of you there in your tracks, because... I think it's important where you mention canal and flooding in the one sentence that we make it abundantly oh, clear yes. that the canal has nothing to do with any flooding that occurs <laughs> no, in your no, no, no. Maybe you'd explain that, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just doesn't, you know. No, well, we, we have always tried to pr prove. And, you know, but within the summit level, we, we, we went out of our way <coughs> excuse me, to make sure that what we did wasn't causing flooding. And we have the assurances of waterways, or inland waterways, that it wasn't a problem. Not a problem at yeah. all. And you proved that, Peter, <coughs> as you yeah. say. Yeah. Is this image on the... Is this, uh, this, is, at the we this image on now, Andrew? Yes. What have we got yeah. here, yeah. Peter? Yeah, well, this is the dam that Tom's referring to we did on the summit level, at one end of the summit, uh, to prove that it wouldn't cause flooding. Yeah. And, and indeed, as you said, it didn't. And now, we just, I've got a telephone from Councillor Robert Turner yes. on Monday night, just after our meeting to say that the council have approved the, the, uh, the finance for the materials. For the gate. For the yeah. gates, wow. for that end, and <coughs> Bambridge have done it for the other end. Well, it's actually the other way around. Bam yeah. Bambridge are, are paying for that one, and Armagh Council are paying for the far end. Is there significant amounts involved? No. It's, but there's, it's no. now done. Ah, but this is only the material. I mean, they, yeah, the, yeah. The, the costs are 5,000. Yeah, for the material. Know, material. Yeah. But it's about 20,000 pounds worth of labour and yeah. overhead's going to go into it, which, which we're, we're doing. You're doing that? Volunteer work, or we're, we're doing or association. Did you ever think uh, when you were in <laughs> working for no, Working for nothing now. <laughs> yeah, <it's the, laughs> I said to you before, is, I can't is, get my head around that one at is all. This, is, this what, is this what retirement is supposed to be about? <laughs> no, I think when you hit 60, you just go a bit do lally. <laughs> <laughs> and you and say things bring happen. it on. Yeah. I want to tell you, it doesn't get any worse when you hit 70, I promise <laughs> you that, without, without a doubt. <laughs> but uh, the... the You've had you've had boats in this uh, in oh, the yes. canal already. Oh, yeah. uh, you've had what's been the maximum uh, length of navigability? Let's oh, say. Oh, oh, how much would that be, Tom? We did at Scarf in that day. We we Near went we, we went yes. It would have been you know either way half mile in total. Yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, strangely enough, I was telling Peter. Um, it was good fun actually paddling in around the, the weeds and the yeah, reeds. Of course, because because I, I then subsequently bought myself a kayak, and I went out during all those floods when the when the canal was as, as wide as I've ever seen it. Yes. and it was boring. Yeah, you need because the weeds. It was, it was, <laughs> you need to get it was in just there all clear water. See, there, there, there's a good view there. Oh, yeah, well, look at that. We had That's fantastic Tom, fun. Tom wee bold spot yeah. there. We had fantastic <laughs> fun going in around the weeds. Yeah. And, and even dodging the overhead branches. Yes. It's a, it's a paradise, isn't it? It's almost like South America well, or somewhere. Humphrey Bogart, the African Queen. African yes. Queen's in there <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Jerdium's yeah. in the back there somewhere, wasn't she? Yes, she, she was in. She was the African Queen. Yeah, she was Yeah. But it's actually it's yeah. really beautiful. It was brilliant. It is, it and is. people don't act, broadly speaking, even at Carn Bain and Uri, where the, the canal uh, towpath opens up, mm -hmm. people aren't genu genuinely or uh, generally uh, aware that uh, there is beauty mm. ben beneath and beyond. Yes. You know. Mm -hmm. well, that's yeah, that's something is. else we're doing. You mentioned Carn Bain, the, the bridge. Uh, 
just before you get to, if you go out the Tandragi Road, just before you get to the flyover, there's a small bridge down yes. a lane to the right. Yes. And uh, we've had guys in there cleaning part-timers, I, I would yeah. call them. Then it's not the ordinary proper work parties. Yeah. They've just gone down there on their own time during the week. Just tiddle away and do a wee bit of cleaning. And they have cleaned up that bridge, and that bridge has a towpath underneath it. Ah, yes. Now, nobody knew that was there. It was really? overgrown. My so you can, actually, you can go down, down the bank and underneath the bridge alongside I suppose, the canal. I, I suppose people might ask, what is the satisfaction you get? I know what it is. Uh, I could write yeah. a book on it. But maybe you could explain to people uh, just why is it so exciting? Why are you captivated by the waterway? Tom can explain that. I, <laughs> it's very difficult to actually put your finger on it. We were out for the first time this year, last Saturday, working in the Scarva Basin. And there was a morning like that there, blue skies, the sun was out, there was a dozen of us. And we were all working away, and when we had our lunch, or our tea at about 11 o'clock, we were all gathered around the, the teapot, having a, having a brew, and I said, said to people, is anybody else here enjoying this morning as much as I am? And everybody was going, yes. Wow. They weren't given a reason for it. No, it was just, just, it was being mm. out, being in the company, doing something in the good weather, yeah. and life was good. good. Dare I suggest it's a bit like being a Boy Scout forever. <laughs> Is there anything <laughs> of that in it, where you have the excitement of the, the great outdoors and are there doing your thing? Uh, I, I think it's a case. You know, we, we, we talk about the, the opportunities that youngsters have nowadays. Yes, yeah. But you see now, for those who are retired, they have more than a, enough opportunities to go and enjoy the rest of their, their life. Yes. If they yeah. just want to go out and look for it. Yeah, mm -hmm. because the, 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 the burden... You don't, you don't have to go far. I go, no. fi I go five miles to this here. Yeah, yeah. And the burden of, of family responsibilities and the fiscal requirements of life yeah. somewhat lifted from you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then this gives you a new, a new bite. Of, yeah, of thought, of things, yep. yeah. Uh, And people may turn around and say, but you're wasting your time. Well, that's fair enough. I'm enjoying wasting my time. <laughs> that's you're allowed to do <laughs> I'm that. allowed to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But, but you do see, that the thing is, you do see the end result of things that you start. Mm. Aye, that's yeah. nice. And, yeah. and uh, you know, that there, even that there as it is now, is as good as it gets. Aye. But that will get better. Of course. Once we get the gates on. Of course. Mm -hmm. Now, for someone asking <coughs> him, looking at that, is it still possible for a, a guy with a canoe on top of the car to go out to that location and have that experience that we see in the picture? Not right now. Not right now. No. Uh, to a certain extent you can because the, the weeds have died down. Yeah. But there will be sections of it that are too shallow. Yeah. Until we re yeah. Because remember we had dams a metre high at yeah. each end. Yeah. And that raised the whole level of that water yeah. by a metre. Well what will you do in the immediate future? Because you, you, you never stop. That will bring a yes answer to the question I've just asked. Well, we'll put the gates on the gates, each end, right? Which we'll, you've now got the funding that's for. That's right. We're going to manufacture these over the next few months, yeah. get them installed, Points Pass and Scarva. Yeah. That will put water into four miles of the canal. Four miles? Four miles. So it. we'll be able to do yes. this on four miles of the canal this springtime, as or summer. As long as we can get the trees cut down before the little birdies want to make nests. Ah, yeah. We as, wouldn't at the same time as we're building the yeah. gates. That's well, you the, know the poem. Well, uh, Spring is here, the grass is red. Well, yes. I wonder where the Boydies <laughs> is. Some say the Boyd is on the wing. wing. <laughs> but that's absurd. The wing is on the boy. <laughs> no, but you're, this is but, important but the, too. You work in harmony with nature. I hadn't nature. quite finished there on that bit of it though. But this is the winter time now. Yeah. This is what we're talking about, you were asking. And during the winter time, we have to leave the gates open. Open. To act as a drainage. Yes. To, so, no. The, the, unless it's been heavy rain, there will not be water yeah. in that section of the canal. In winter time. In the winter time. Uh, no, it's we we have uh, we have the machine on this planet Mars uh, <laughs> going around exploring. We've been able to do that. Mm. Uh, surely to God, when you have two fine new gates on, <laughs> there is some mechanism that will allow you to have water in that stretch of canal all, all year round. No. 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 Nature. Yeah. Nature can't be combated. It wants to, to let the water out of that. It'll overflow. I mean, yeah. yes. Well, we a wee man sitting in a cottage there. <laughs> he would, that would be well, yeah, I mean, there are, will be sluices to control it. Yeah. But the, the big danger is with sluices is that when you get a flood, the, the stuff's lying on the bank, all the debris is, it you all, can't clean it. Yeah. You get a flood, it, the water level rises. That then starts to float. 
Yes. And then it moves downstream and it blocks the holes in the gates. Uh, yeah, yeah. So then yes. it yeah. goes over the top of the gates. Now that's not a problem mm -hmm. in the summertime, but once yeah. you get an experience a long period of heavy rain, the water will end up increasing and increasing. And the whole thing, thing is that eventually it would leak over the towpath into some farmer's field. Yes. And then there'd be a route. Well, that's not so, the kind of thing that we're about. <coughs> no, in, it possibly do going that. down the line, we will be allowed to keep yeah. them closed during the winter. Yeah. But at the beginning, we got permission to put them in because we'd have them open during yes. the winter. Yes. Possibly it's not necessary. Yeah. So let's go ahead, get them closed for the summers, and then that's we'll see. That's a starting we'll, point. Yeah, well, it's a starting yeah. point. Oh, yes. Hold that thought because we're going to take a break, and then you'll come back, and we'll be here to the end of the programme. Destination Yuri. Keep it on. We're back in moments. Gentle, gentle, dental. Relaxing in the chair, a time to meditate perhaps, let go, no worries. Yes, we're talking gentle dental. Let's face it, dentistry is a finely focused, painless science these days. The bad days are long gone. But it's the add-ons, our chairside manner painlessly safe in the caring hands of the masters at Gentle Dental in Warren Point. For all your dentistry. Perfection. We do it our way. It's as easy as that. So, you want local Nuri and Morn TV shows on your television? Which value box should you buy? Well, you have two options. Option one provides you as long as you have a good internet connection in your home with all the programs from DestinationNuri.com, including... Inside the fencing, when we're up there. That's such a change. And the, the dog muck. Destination Nuri. Radio Evolved. Hello, your weather for today and tomorrow with Destination Yuri Today. First, this is Newry News Bite. Well, what's cracked in Yuri and Morn today? We all had a great September weather wise. Three, two, one. We're going to go straight into this show with a lengthy set of tunes from a band called Sun. Well, good morning. Uh, welcome to Destination Yuri. Uh, tell me the provenance of that. Where did it come from? Right there, and welcome back to the studio. Um, Good afternoon, and welcome along to Destination Wellbeing. My guest is Sam. Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's Nuri's Loose Women with me. Well, it's hello, and welcome once again to the programme. My name is Tommy Sands. And the pole to the house of our God. Praise to Lord. Philip Rogan, brother, wearing number 19. Evening everybody and you're very welcome to Nuri Showgrounds tonight again. So that's option one and to choose this click on option one below or you can go to value.ie and buy option one. Option two provides you as long as you have a good internet connection in your home. Everything you get for option one including all the programs from destinationnuri.com plus you will be able to add over 1,000 private or public channels at the touch of a button, most of which are free. So that's option two. To buy, click below and buy option two, or go to vario.ie and buy option two. To choose your option, either option one or two, just click on the buttons below, or you can go to vario.ie and click on option one or two. When we receive your payment, we will deliver your box to your home, and all you need to do is plug it in and connect it to your TV and your internet. Any problems? We're here on standby to help. Destination. You've reached your destination. Go! Yeah, here we are, Peter and Tom, with me from the Newry and Porter Down branch of the Inland, uh, the Inland Waterways Association of Ireland. Enormously welcome at the beginning of the new year. 
What are we looking at? Andrew's going to put a picture up for us there. Uh -huh. That's a, a fine-looking lock. Yes, that, that's, that's, that's points pass. And that's what you're going pass. to restore? Yes. Uh, well, actually, we have the stonework cleaner than it's showing in that photograph, but that, they, this was photoshopped in about two years ago to show how it would look with gates yes. in it. And this is what we're going to do now is install gates yeah, onto and that section. Recapping once you have the, the, those mm. gates in there and the gates in at Scarva, Aye. the mm. area in between... Yes. will flood, uh, that's the wrong word to use, yes. will, be, will contain water yes. and people will be able to canoe and boat yes. on it. Yes. And there's no danger of flooding of any kind oh, no, because no, the no. gates in the danger time will be left open. Yeah. Yeah. Can't get any clearer than that. No, no, you know. we've, we've had full support from all the farmers, no, yeah. no complaints while we no, did the experiments on it. Yeah. Why and the Rivers Agency are, are happy enough. Yeah, but when the farmers and others have you guys around the place, They've got friends around the place. Yes, that, that's true. In the past, though, when they tried to open the canal or there was funding applications put in, it was turned down. One of the grounds it was turned down for, this would be in 1998, I think. In yes, I was there at the yeah. time. I made the presentations yeah. to the Millennium right. Fund. Yes. yes, We didn't get it along with the former leader of the yeah. Unionist Party of Northern Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. But, but one of the one of the reasons it was turned down is because of lack of involvement of the farming local yeah. farming community. In fact, opposition. Yeah, because there of, was I, opposition. I've seen there's a file yeah. this thick of stuff yeah. from the Ulster Farmers Union yeah. Yeah. about reopening the canal and and yeah. compensation. Of course, oh. that was a, that was the biggest the biggest bit of writing was about compensation. Yeah. But it was also the great concern over flooding and compensation for the flooding. Yeah. Yeah, of course, they're quite right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, if the That's canal caused flooding on their land, yeah. it would have to be compensated. But we now can prove. Yes. Flooding does not occur ah, as a consequence of the canal. Not on that section. Yes. Now, there are other sections where if we repeated the experiment, there would be trouble. Yeah. You know, but, but that's why we're not doing the experiment on those bits. Th that's a fish to fry in another day. Oh, yes. And that yeah, will yes. come to, yeah. yes. you know. So yeah. this is, not only are you a canal aficionado now, Tom, you're, you're a kayak man, you told us. You're, you're a big man to get into a small boat. <laughs> yes, uh, and it, it is a bit of a concern because that day I went, when I was out on the flooding, I sort of thought to myself, well, what happens if this thing rolls over? How do I actually get the thing back up again? So now this has led me to probably going to uh, the meetings of the Bambridge Canoe and Kayak Club on a Monday night. So this is another thing. going on here. It just, it just keeps on going. Yeah. And then once you're doing things like that, somebody says, do you play a bit of badminton by any chance? Oh. And then you end up in the badminton club. And it, I, was, I was writing a letter last night to a friend, and I was saying, saying just, just how fantastic retirement really is. Absolutely. It's superb. Yeah, absolutely. But I find... I'm, I'm, I was about to say I find now that I'm retired. <laughs> I said, How am I retired in God's name? You know, yeah, six days a week and on the yeah. seventh day I write my column. Oh my yeah, God. Well, that's yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. But, but Tom, what did you do between actual date of retirement and bumping into us? Bumping into you. Uh, well, I painted, you would, I painted ten internal doors of the house. That's okay. But you would not have been a golfer. No, but no, I wasn't a golfer because I didn't have the time. But I did increase my CD collection because yeah. in between the coats of paint, I was on Amazon ordering up CDs, <laughs> and I still have maybe a dozen unopened CDs oh, I have to listen to. Yeah, yeah. So you could become my music advisor for this <laughs> program, I tell you. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you'd like his taste no, in music. No, no, <laughs> Tell me about the year ahead. Now we're at the beginning of the year, Peter. Yes. So well, what, are, what? What's the? What's the kind of? agenda for this year for the Inland Waterways Association of Ireland well, here in Europe. We're mainly going to be on the summit section between doing the gates, yes. clearing the, the canal channel itself of, of trees and overhanging yes. branches, and also the Sluice Keeper's Cottage. Uh, we, the association now has the lease signed, so it's been signed by both parties, both yes. the association uh -huh. and uh -huh. Armagh Council, and uh, we're, we're, we moved some stuff into it, but uh, we're going to start getting that properly organised. Mm. But then down at this end, we, as you know, we were, we were surveying on the ship canal. That's right. And, I mean, we, we know that the, the wall between the canal and the river, mm. the, the middle banks, the spline, rather, yes, yes, further down, know. is in very bad condition. Yeah. And they, they want to do a, a cycle track, yes. which we're fully mm. behind that. Yes, and have been yeah. since Dundalk Cycle Alliance Absolutely. first suggested yeah. it. Uh, they did make a funding application. It fell through. The council did and fell through. And uh, they're now... Well, that, that wall's in a very bad condition because it's, mm. it's a stone wall, rough stone yeah. wall, uh, filled with lime water. Yeah. So next week... There's blue clay there somewhere. Oh, but that may be in the bed. In the bed yeah, of it, yeah. 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 
yeah. but the the uh, or maybe even the bank itself. But yeah, the bank it, itself yeah. is blue clay yeah. because it's got good uh, water keeping aye, capacity. Aye. Oh, it has. Yes, yeah. Yes. But so, the, the, but the the council then next week, starting next Thursday, are lowering the canal level. Yes. To have a surveyor, an architect, or maybe both. Come and, and, and check it out and yeah. see what is involved. Because there's no point in building a cycle track on the top if the wall no, is crumbling. No, it's going to disappear. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, work has been done uh, in the past, within oh, the yeah. last ten years. Yeah, on work this, was on, done on the in, ship canal. Yeah, in the town yeah. section was, in the, was repointed. Also yes. down parts of the bank down. Some down little, the, some short bits were done. Yeah, yeah. that was done. Uh, yeah. But I rather think there is a requirement. Uh, yeah, but yeah. when they're lowering the level from the starting next Thursday, it should be down by Saturday. So as you know, we've been working at lock number two. Mm. The, the, Riley's lock, lock just above the wind there and we had divers down but we're hoping that when they lower it that much we'll actually be able to work in the bottom in the dry yes but we yeah. won't know until until we start we'll have to get the pump we'll have to pump out the water mm. Uh, mm. To, to get it dry and we're, we're so that's what we're at today this is why you, you have two of us because we're, we're doing right a survey work. further up the canal yeah, there's yeah. water getting coming round lock number three at behind the college there the Farron's lock yeah and uh, we're trying to get some means of stopping that as we're in okay. to have a look today, a yeah. talk about, and, and yeah. see what we can do, you know. It all seems good, and uh, the future more assured than it's ever been, because when we started that Canal Preservation Society, when the council wanted mm. to close, no, the council didn't, business people wanted oh, to yeah. close it in, in order to create car parking facilities and industrial ground and stuff like that. That was stopped. We could never have dreamt that you guys would come along and be doing what you're doing. <laughs> you are the, the natural inheritors of the vision, and it's so good to see you there. Uh, but then there's, there's other things in there, Rowan, that, that we happen. Um, we, we now have a guy who's taken on the education for schools, and he, he has got a bit of help from DECAL, and they've given advice, and he is producing documentation that he can now take into the schools and I think, didn't Brian say on Monday night he has a, his first presentation yes. in one of the schools uh, come February? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. there's, yeah. there's some that happened. This member has only been in the branch for 15 months. When he arrived, he didn't want to do any work, apart from yeah. work parties. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he didn't want any, <coughs> any other um, yeah. role. role yeah, yeah, asked, yeah. Right? Yeah. And now here he is, having developed educational material and doing his first presentation mm -hmm. in a school. Fantastic. Yeah, and it's, it, it's not just a presentation <coughs> of going in for an hour. His, it, the stuff he's made is it, it, appropriate to these key, uh, key level two and key oh, level yeah, yeah, three yeah. stage, yeah. stage stuff for, for actually teaching method, wow. using the canal as an example for doing calculations, say mathematics, yeah, physics, yeah, and stuff like that. He, yeah. He's a former lecturer yes. at, the, at the University this of Ulster. This guy knows what he's about. He does know what he's about. Right. Yeah. I love the notion of tying it into the practicality yes. of the curriculum. Yes. Yeah, well, that's, that's yeah. The, he, he sent out a circular to 22 <coughs> schools, 24 <coughs> schools between Portadown and, and Newry, and none of them used the canal as an example for yes. anything in the school. Yeah, well, that's so, changing. So he's, he's got that's that. I don't know what you call all this <coughs> stuff, but he's, he's the expert, mm -hmm. you know, but he's, he's doing a great job. Wildlife still good, yeah, in the canal? Oh, yes, yes. We, we hear stories of otters up the canal. Otters? Yes, indeed. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I remember the day in the ship canal. I don't know how it got in, uh, but seals. Oh, well. We had two seals <laughs> trapped oh. in the fresh water. Oh, yeah. Oh, but they, they don't seem to mind. They were, they, you saw one. Over Christmas. Well, that, that was done on yeah. the Lagan On the Lagan, yeah. 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 On the river, though. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Right up at the past yes. Lisburn. Wow. There. Oh, no, Shores Bridge, wasn't it? Shores yeah. Bridge, yeah. Which, look, yeah. when we think of these things, there was a photograph in yesterday's Irish News, I think it was, of Sands's Mill in Newry, mm -hmm. and they're perched in the very top of the ridge, two cormorants. Oh, I... Or were the shags. Oh, well, anyway, shag yeah, yeah. I'm not sure which. But uh, normally you would see those creatures mm -hmm. on the sea. Oh, yes. You know, when I was a boy, when, when I was 40 years ago, 30 years ago even, uh, I would boy? never, you would never have seen, oh no, no I'm, I'm bringing it forward. <laughs> I, when I was a boy, you would never have seen it. Uh, Forty years ago, you would never have seen no. it either. You, it, it, they, were, they were creatures of the maritime yes. habitat, yeah. not of the rural, yeah. or not of the urban setting. Oh, well, there's a lot of fish in the canal now. Yeah. Uh, competitions all the time there. Yeah, we had, uh, that's one of the things I'm a little concerned about. They, they, they stretch through Newry. Mm. There is, if you take your canoe down, for instance, Bellini's there, or ground it, mm, mm. and you want to put your yeah. canoe into the canal, mm -hmm. you're going to have to lift it over the four feet six high fence and slide it down in. 
because no one has thought yeah. of giving you <laughs> gate ac access. Ah, there's, there are gates. We made sure there were gates. Put yeah, in. they're that size. Oh, they're yeah, yeah. pedestrian gates. And, and you, you canoe. and <laughs> your pedestrian, your pede pedestrian area when you get through yeah. the gate oh, yeah. is this size here. Yeah, that's right. So it's uh, you know. No, we asked for canoe steps. Yeah. And we were told who would want to put a canoe in there. I know. I don't yeah, believe that. That is what we were told. Who would want to put a canoe in the yes. canal? Yes. In the city. Wow. <laughs> Such microscopically nonsensical, well, dreadful minds. Well, no, it's just they don't have the same vision or possibly the same experience of, of canals in other cities. That breaks I, my heart. That, oh, yes, but I mean... The I joy think, of... I think if it was done again, I think they've learned. You know, I, think I think they've learned. Yeah, yeah. I think I hope so. Yeah. Well, 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 once we get this here operational, this, this summit level, it, it might open a few eyes. Yeah, and I think As so. Peter would tell you, we, we do things by stealth. We, we, yeah. we do a bit and then suddenly thinks, oh, that's a good idea. Yes. And then it, it spreads. Absolutely. And that's, that, that's the best we can hope for, probably. Well, we wish you good luck. Uh, we wish you strength of... Uh, of of bone and sinew and muscle to do what has to be done and I know you will do it. It's a joy to have you out there on the waterway and uh, also a joy to see the other people of the Maritime Association uh -huh. in the middle of the town mm -hmm. dealing with the the memorabilia of uh -huh. Newry in yeah. the old days. Yeah. So all angles are covered. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Go well lads, take care and thank you very very much indeed. For Thanks Rowan. Okay. Thank you very yeah. much. All the best. Thanks Rowan. Okay.